Hello, my wonderful friends. Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to this channel, we're Zoroastrians. We're the Magi. And I want to share with you today our ancient sacred prayers. The Yata'ahu. Just speaking those words in the ancient language puts a shield around you, a hedge of protection around you, your home, your family, your animals. And my friends, I, I want to talk about the shield. Spirit yesterday was speaking to me about the Magi are the shield. We, we are the ones who keep the venom and the poison from the serpent from infecting the family of light. For, from putting its lies into the truth. And, and my friends, you'll see in the world religions, they have an idea of God that's mixed. It's been polluted with poison. They, they say that God can love, which is true, but that He can also hate. That God can be peace, but He can also be at war. And that He can kill men and women and children that he can destroy his creatures, and a poison has gotten into the pure truth. And Zoroaster means pure light, undefiled, undiluted, pure light. And that is the job of the Magi, to, to bring the shield that keeps the lie out, that keeps the darkness out of our light, that is purity. I want to talk about that shield today. At the end of this video, I'm going to pray Yata'ahu. And just the words spoken in that ancient tongue, it's a spell. The Magi were magicians. And it's a spell, my friends, of a shield. And just the words, even without the understanding, is powerful. But I'll tell you what is more powerful. When you have an understanding of the word, the original word, the perfect creator's perfect idea, because the consciousness that you hold, the beliefs, the understanding that you hold, that you are, the spirit, the God that you encompass, is the world you see. The world you create. The world you're going to live in. So I'm going to give you that reason also. My friends, for thousands of years, if someone sensed evil, even if they would sneeze and thought they might get a cold, they would speak out, Yata'ahu. And it brings divine life and in that life, there is no death. Yata'ahu, it is divine love. And in that love, there's no hate, fear, or greed. Yata'ahu is health and wholeness. Yata'ahu is purity, unmixed, undefiled, undiluted. It's a shield. The Magi are a shield. And that shield pushes out the darkness. That shield, it, it, it protects. That shield, it heals. That shield may be exactly what you've come to this channel today for. I want to read you from our holy text, and then I'm going to pray our most ancient prayers over you with understanding. I'm going to give you the ancient tongue and the spell, but I'm going to give you the reason and understanding behind it. And right now, I rebuke the darkness out of your mind. I pray, Spirit, unplug their ears so they can hear truth. Open their eyes to see truth. Open their hearts to receive truth. 
For so many have received the lie and illusion as their truth. My friend, you must pour out your vessel so you can receive. Asha, Asha 11 says, I will release my own ideas to receive God's idea. Removing the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. Removing the poison, the lie from your vessel, from your temple, from your heart, from your mind. My friends, now, now you're an empty vessel to receive the truth. As long as you're filled up with a lie and illusion and you grip onto it with all that you have, and your pride, you won't let it go. Our fear, you won't let it go. My friends, you'll never know the truth. You'll never know Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. You must burn out the impurities to find true essence. Purity is a must. If your vessel is mixed with poison, pour it out and fill it with pure substance. Asha 12 says, I've spent too long looking outside of myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and even God, just to find myself ever searching, ever begging, ever hoping. What do we do? It says, quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories, and you go inside, and there you're going to find the Savior. You're going to find the God, the happiness. Say, Oshant, Jesus, inside. That true name. That true identity. That true word. You're going to find it pure inside of your heart of hearts. And then you realize there's no separation from your good, your God. We are one. And all the truth, happiness I've been looking for, it's here right now because I am that. I am. And now that I know this, it is good is. God is. Asha is. Divine life is. The perfect creator's perfect idea is. That substance, that's reality, that's the real above all that seems real. My God. It's the all, it's the real. It's God. It's you. You come from good spirit. You're made of good spirit. You shall return to good spirit. I want to read our ancient prayers over you. I'm going to read it with understanding. I'm going to read it also in the ancient tongue. It says, Circle of Oath insurmountable divine circle of oath, heaven and earth's unaltered circle by oath. God is one and cannot be changed. God and man shall not be divided. You cannot be divided from spirit, from truth, from life. From love, from wholeness, from goodness, from joy, from peace. You cannot be separated from it. You are it. Hashem v'hu v'ashestem esti u'shta esti u'shta amai yatashai v'estai. Hashem. Just as the Lord wills, so the priestly king in consciousness of Asha, the gift of Vohu Menu, the Christ mind, all activity now comes from wisdom, word incarnate, original word incarnate in me, is me, the good shepherd, brings the government of Ahura Mazda, and Asha is, Asha is actualized 
in form and matter. Yata uhu vario atara tu shashat chithacha van gush dazda manango shatnam on gush mazdai sharthremcha uhurai ayimdre gubio dot dot vosterem. Be blessed. Asha is.